I'm on the Shetland Isles, 120 miles north of Scotland, in the North Sea, looking for the perfect Shetland pony to join our team. Well, he must be out there somewhere. So far in my search, I've found lovely stallions, but they're too big for us. And little foals, they're too small for us. I've found amazing Pictish stones with Shetland ponies on them, cheeky puffins, and Viking longships. But we need to keep searching. So it's back on the ferry because I'm heading north to the island of Yell. Our pony Balmoral, who's already at Shetland Pony Club, was born on the island of Yell. And I'd like to see what it was like where he came from. It's a very windy, beautiful place full of these standing stones, which are an ancient monument. And in the foreground here, you can see a Viking longhouse. And on those distant hills beyond the sea there, that's where our pony Balmoral was actually born. Wow. So I've just met somebody who's told me that the lady who bred Balmoral has moved to a different part of the island. So, just a few lonely stallions here. Time to get back on that ferry and see if we can find her. There are lots of ferries in the Shetlands and now I'm back on the mainland and I'm heading for a rather unlikely place apparently called the Cake Fridge. People tell me it's real. Let's see. Well, I'm feeling rather lost. My Google Maps isn't really working, and apparently the cake fridge is somewhere out there across those peat bogs. Hmm, I think it's a roadside stall I'm looking for. But at the moment, all I can see are empty looking peat bogs. Hmm. Talking of peat bogs, I've just come across this fascinating cutting in the peat. And can you see they've cut small sections of peat up the top and left them to dry. And this is what they used to do in the old days to heat the houses. And Shetland ponies used to carry them off of the hills. Now we understand there's only limited peat cutting now on the Shetlands. So I'm lucky to have stumbled across this. As it's an interesting part of Shetland pony history. Interesting as it is, I'm really losing heart a bit. I'm beginning to wonder if the cake fridge is a joke. <laughs> Have they sent me off on a wild goose chase? I've decided to stop for a picnic by the sea and it's just very beautiful, very wild. Hello, sheep. And then in the distance there, you can see the little rocky islands. That's Papa Stower. I think there are Shetland ponies out there. But I'm not going out there today. So I'm back on the road and this looks more promising. I can see a little settlement on the headland there. And even some Shetland ponies. Maybe I'm in the right place. Aha! Uh -huh. Now they look like lovely standard Shetlands. Hurrah! Oh, and look, here it is. The cake fridge. <laughs> it really does exist. Yes, it's a fridge at the side of the road where weary travellers like me can acquire cakes. Fabulous. So I've been told to wait here and here comes over the hill 
two little girls with a fantastic ridden Shetland pony. Wow! Hello! Here we are on Shetland with Hi. <laughs> so he's a lovely full-size Shetland pony called Trukia and he's 10 years old which is perfect for us. He's nice and strong and he's been very well trained by the girls who are going to trot him up for me. Hello, it's very windy and he's doing very well. Keep going, keep going. quite a lot with Trukia. She's taken him to shows and won prizes for, the, for ridden gelding and you can see why I like him because he's got a fabulous mane and tail, he's a great bright bay colour and best of all he's been ridden by very good little riders and I think he would fit in well with our team at Shetland Pony Club. Hmm. So it's been a long and exciting search, but we're thrilled to have found the perfect pony for us. So join us next week when he travels from the Shetland Isles to us at Shetland Pony Club. Join us next week as our new pony prepares to travel south to join us at Shetland Pony Club. You can book online to come riding with us at shetlandponyclub.co.uk